Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will discuss about electrical analogies of mechanical systems. Mechanical systems are very key component in all, in almost all control systems, industrial control systems. So it's imperative for us to convert it, to see it, their analogies in electrical terms so that we are all familiar with electrical voltage, electrical current, electrical power. So similarly, these analogies, let's see to what extent they are analogous uh, to different mechanical systems. So two systems are said to be analogous to each other if the following two conditions are met. That is, the two systems are physically different or the differential equation modeling of these systems are same. Electrical systems and mechanical systems are two physically different systems. There are two types of electrical analogies of translational mechanical systems. Those are force voltage analogy and force current analogy. Let's see the force voltage analogy. In force voltage analysis, the mathematical equations of translational mechanical system are compared with the mesh equations of the electrical system. If we consider the following translational mechanical system, where we have the force balanced equation of this system is F is equal to F of M plus F of B plus F of K. So the force because of the mass, and then force because of the whatever the dashboard that we have and force because of the spring constant. Okay, so essentially you, we get, if we combine all these things, F is equal to M d square X by dt square plus B dx by dt plus kx. So this is analogous to the electrical system where we have RLC the same, let's consider the same with the following electrical system. The circuit consists of a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. All these three electrical elements are connected in series. The input voltage applied to this is V volts, and the current flowing through the circuit is I amps, whatever is flowing through this. So the mesh equation for this circuit is, which we popularly know, V is equal to Ri plus L di by dt plus one by C integral of I dt. So if we substitute I is equal to dq by dt in this equation, we get R is equal to V is equal to R into dq by dt plus L into d square q by dt square plus q by C, which implies V is equal to L d square q by dt square plus R dq by dt plus one by C Q. By comparing equation, earlier equation and this equation, we'll get analogous quantities of the translational mechanical system and electrical system. This table shows us basically the analogous quantities. If we, if we, have, if we consider the translational mechanical system, force is analogous to voltage, mass is analogous to inductance, Frictional coefficient is analogous to resistance. Spring constant is analogous to reciprocal of capacitance. Displacement is analogous to charge and velocity to current. So this is exactly what it is. So if we similarly, if we see the torque voltage analogy, if we consider the same equation, the mathematical equations of rotational mechanical system, this is a representation of a rotational mechanical system where we are applying torque T, which is causing an angle theta. Okay, so in this, the rotational mechanical system, in this, if we see the torque balanced equation for this is T of J plus T of B plus T of K. Okay, so the torque balanced equation is T is equal to J into D square theta by DT square plus B into D theta by DT plus K into theta. The force, the torque balance equation for this. So if we compare this with the rotational mechanical system as compared to our translational mechanical system in the earlier thing. 
So the, if you compare the torque rotational mechanical system, torque is analogous to voltage. Moment of inertia J is equal to inductance. The rotational frictional coefficient equals to resistance. Torsional spring constant equals to reciprocal of constants. And angular displacement theta is analogous to charge. Angular velocity omega is equals to current. Then if you see the similarly, if you see the force current analogy, in force current analogy, the mathematical equations of translational mechanical system are compared with the nodal equations of the electrical system. This is the nodal equation of the uh, electrical system. If we consider this, the circuit consists as usual, we have a source resistor, inductor and capacitor, and all these are connected in parallel. So the nodal equation for this, which we already know, I is equal to V by R plus one by L integral of V dt plus C into dV by dt. So if we substitute V is equal to D psi by dt in this equation, we get I is equal to one by R into D psi by dt plus one by L psi plus C into D square psi by dt square. So which gives, if we arrange this in equation in the order of differential equations, I is equal to C into D square phi psi by DT square plus one by R D psi by DT plus one by L psi, okay? So this is exactly what we uh, consider uh, in terms of this equation. So if we compare these two equations, the first equation and the uh, this equation, the very beginning equation of the electrical analog system, we get the, for translational mechanical system and electrical system, Force is equal to voltage, mass is analogous to inductance, frictional coefficient B is uh, analogous to resistance, spring constant to reciprocal of capacitance, displacement to charge, and velocity to current. So similarly, there is a torque current analogy for rotational mechanical system. Now in this, the rotational mechanical system, when we compare it with the nodal mesh equations, of the electrical system, we get T is equal to J D squared theta by DT squared plus B into D theta by DT plus K theta. So if we apply imply this, we get I is equal to C D squared psi by DT squared plus one by R D psi by DT plus one by L psi. So that we get the comparing table as rotational mechanical system and electrical mechanical system. We get torque analogous to current, Moment of inertia analogous to capacitance, rotational friction coefficient B equals to reciprocal of resistance, torsional spring constant K equals to reciprocal of inductance, and angular displacement theta equals to magnet, magnetic flux and angular velocity to voltage. So this is what so far we have discussed the electrical analysis of the mechanical systems. These analogies are helpful to study and analyze the non-electrical systems like mechanical system from analogous electrical system. So that's what it is for the time being. If you want to watch more related videos, please subscribe to